Despite all the rain and flooding, parts of our state are still incredibly dry. 40% of our state, all on the western slope, is in drought. And it's a similar picture for most of the west, much of the western United States. Vast areas of our nation are struggling with drought conditions. And you can see the effects of the drought at lakes and reservoirs, especially across the west. The water level in many places is dropping to these staggering new lows. As Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen reports, what's happening to the west of our state could have a direct effect on Colorado's water supply. Behind Hoover Dam, Lake Mead just hit its lowest water level since it was first filled in the 1930s. Upriver, behind Glen Canyon Dam, Lake Powell has also reached record-setting low levels. Bottom line, much more is going out than the Colorado River can replenish. Everything's green over here, um, but the fact is the drought continues in western Colorado and the rest of the Colorado River Basin. Um, and we do need to pay attention to that. Kalsuma Basi tracks the water supply for utilities in Colorado. The drought map shows good conditions here, but just over the mountains, the drought supply is extreme. And while Lakes Mead and Powell supply water to Nevada, Arizona, and California, the water originates right here in Colorado. The Colorado River Basin is the supply, source of supply for half of our water. And so what happens over there absolutely does impact this community. Water rights offer some protection, but are only valid when there's no crisis in supply. If things don't improve by next year, there's talk of enacting an unprecedented response. The Colorado River Complex Pact is a you know, 1922 era agreement and hasn't really ever had to be enforced before. Under consideration, mandatory restrictions across all the Colorado Basin users, even usage cuts despite water rights. The compact is senior to our water rights, and so if there are cuts, this community and many others across the state and across the western U.S. are going to be impacted by that. Right now, the water supply along the Front Range is considered good, so this is not about your lawn going brown just yet. These warnings are about awareness for the years ahead. If drought continues on the western slope, much of our water will have to flow that direction, making our water supply even more vulnerable. I'm Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. For perspective on this low water supply, three Colorado River Basin reservoirs will be partly drained to make sure Utah's Lake Powell keeps producing hydroelectric power. The lake's popular boat ramp closed this week because the water was so low, and in this picture, you can see, do you see the rings there? That's where the water line should be. The National Park Service says it will start draining Blue Mesa Reservoir near Gunnison in August. It says you should expect closures at the boat ramps and marina slips.